Well, thank you very much, songsters. Hasn't tonight been wonderful? It really has been. It's been a good night. Well, I don't know about you, but I've been able to live in quite a bit of number of neighborhoods in my life. And uh, I'm actually now on neighborhood number three in my officership. And it's a wonderful thing. I've been able to spend Christmas in three different places as a Salvation Army officer. And, uh, and it's, it's been glorious. It really has been. Now, one of the things that I find that as we go place to place is that God has special people in store for you to come in contact with. He has pep special people ready to be there with you. And, and, you know, the reality is, is that over those three appointments that we've had, in those three different neighborhoods, we found exactly what we have needed. And one of the things that we've found is, is that we have found people in the neighborhoods who have been of good influence to Emma growing up. Now, let me tell you about Danville. In Danville, we had some wonderful co core folk who were just so loving, so kind, as, as all core folk are, and, and it was just a wonderful thing. But one of the things that we had there is we had a wonderful college ministry with Asbury College being right there. And so Emma had the opportunity to grow from literally age zero to five with those college students. One person in particular, I got a picture of him, you might recognize him. Do you recognize who that is? That's a young Jeff Marquis, <laughs> all right? And that's Emma on top of Jeff there. Let me tell you something. Je Emma would do whatever Jeff told her. Now, that's a little dangerous sometimes. But what an amazing influence Jeff had on Emma's life. Jeff would teach her so much, and it was good. It really was. And Jeff would love on her, and it was a wonderful thing. Jeff would be at our house any, anywhere between three, four, five times a week during the time that we were in Danville. At one point, he lived with us. And it was a wonderful thing that living in that neighborhood, Jeff had such an amazing influence on our family and on Emma. But the time came, as it comes every now and then, it was time for us to move to Tyler, Texas. And in Tyler, we had the opportunity once again to have an amazing group of core members. It was wonderful. Emma was a little bit older. She was now from the age of five to seven is where we were in Tyler. And she came in contact in that neighborhood with many, once again, wonderful core members. But one of those core members in particular was a lady, a girl, a, a young adult by the name of Katie Street, now Katie Bernabe. She's in the training college now. And Emma at that age took up basketball. Here's a younger Emma in her basketball gear and getting ready. And she, she played for upward teams. And Emma had a little bit of, of struggles with this, I guess you could say, because she says, girls don't play basketball. Yes, they do, Emma, and they do it very, very well. And Emma actually turned out to be quite a good basketball player. But it took some time in that neighborhood in Tyler with Katie shooting baskets with Emma night after night. Katie taking time to be there and teaching Emma what she needed to know and developing Emma in such a beautiful, beautiful way. Now, here we are in our fourth Christmas with you all, and it's been wonderful. And, and, and it's been a wonderful appointment here because each and every one of you have, have placed your special mark upon our lives, upon our family's lives, and upon Emma's life. Each one of you have a special role that you play. And some of you saw that role today played out. Let me show another picture. This was right before the service today. And there's Emma and people like Megan and people like Jessica who are still pouring into her life in the neighborhood that she now lives in. Isn't it wonderful that God has plans, he has ways for us wherever we go, where we live right now. In the message translation of John chapter one, we find Eugene Peterson saying that familiar passage of scripture. Let me read John chapter one, starting at verse one. The word was first. The word present to God, God present to the word. The word was God in readiness for God from day one. Everything was created through him. Nothing, not one thing came into being without him. What came into existence was life and the life was light to live by. The life light blazed out of the darkness. The darkness could not put it out. Jumping down now to verse 14. And the word 
became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one-of-a-kind glory, like father, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. The word became flesh and blood, Eugene Peterson says, and moved into the neighborhood. You see, we live in a world where God knew exactly what it is that we needed, and he moved into the neighborhood. He moved in and became like one of us showing us the way. We have many people in our lives, do we not, who show us the different ways. And I believe that's God working in and through that. But may we remember first that it was God who moved into our neighborhood. It was God who said, I know exactly what it is that you need. I know exactly what it is that this world needs. This world that can be dark, I have light. This world that can be in chaos, I have peace. This world that, that many times is full of hatred, I have love. And the word became flesh. And he moved into the neighborhood. He made his dwelling among us. He became Emmanuel, God with us. Once again, this Christmas season, if we're not experiencing those things or if we need to experience those things in a deeper way, may we be reminded that God's in the neighborhood, that he's here, that he is here. He is God with us. He's not a distant, far-off God, but he's right here. And may our eyes, may our ears, and most importantly, may our hearts be open to what he desires to do for us, in us, and through us this Christmas season. Let's pray. Our Father, once again, We thank you so much for your word. We thank you so much, Father, for your word becoming flesh and coming down to us, into our neighborhoods, right where we are. And so, Father, it's my prayer that wherever that is that we find ourselves, not just physically, but where we find ourselves spiritually, where we find ourselves mentally, where we find ourselves right now, Father, that you just help us to understand that you're Emmanuel, you're God with us. And as the songster sang earlier, because of that, all is well. And so, Father, right now, we once again thank you so much for this beautiful reminder tonight through your music. And now, as we continue on, we pray that you just continue to reveal yourself right where we are in our neighborhood. In Jesus' name, amen.